Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. New tie, new day, new book. A lot of new things happening. Hello, welcome to Storytime with Uncle Scotty. I am your host, Uncle Scotty. Hydration is important. And if you would like to get hydrated in the most important ways and the most fun ways, don't forget to visit us on Patreon. Because um, there we have our own mugs. You can have your own mug. We have our own bookmarks. You could have your own bookmark. And also, you can help me figure out what books we're going to read next. Like today, we have to have a new book. I'm still in the process of deciding. So I could have your help. I could use your help. So maybe it's time to announce what our next book is going to be. Without further ado, drum roll please. The next book that we're going to read is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. It's a quick read. Quick read, pretty accessible, pretty easy to do. Kidding, that was a joke for me and me only. Our next book that we're going to read is going to be a one episode book. And then we're gonna get into another chapter book. This is a book that I just found in my apartment. And I'm excited to see what happens because it is Charlie Pie Chart and the Missing Pizza Slice. Now, I, like some of you out there, love math. I almost love reading as much as I love math. Sometimes I used to think of myself as old Charlie Pie Chart, but I started going by Uncle Scotty instead. So I thought we could read this first and then we can decide tomorrow what our next bigger book is going to be. Let's check this out. Charlie Pie Chart and the case of the missing pizza slice. Pizza slice. That's how they say it sometimes. Charlie Pie Chart and the case of the missing pizza slice. Charlie Pie Chart and the case of the missing pizza slice. It was pizza night at Charlie's house which meant that he could invite one friend over for dinner. Charlie had four friends, Louis, Henry, <gasps> Scotty, and Barry. And there you see Charlie, you can invite one friend, he's got four friends, Louis, Henry, Scotty, and Barry. I didn't know that happened. Louis was one fourth of Charlie's friends, but he was his best friend. So Charlie invited Louis over for pizza night. There's Lewis, one of the four friends. There were six pizza eaters, Charlie, Lewis, Charlie's sisters, Kate and Alice, and Charlie's mom and dad. There they are, Charlie, Lewis, mom and dad, Kate and Alice. What a pizza. Everyone agreed on the size, large. So here, you see the menu? You got a small, medium, and a large. Big list of toppings. Mmm. Everyone agreed on the size, large. That meant everyone would get two slices. But no one could agree on the same topping. Cheese, please. Bacon! Bacon! Veggie. How reasonable, how sensible of the parents to want a veggie pizza. Yuck, yuck, no veggies. Hashtag kids. Yelled four sixths of the pizza eaters and no one wanted anchovies. We got two who want veggies, four who don't want. Author's note, anchovies are tiny little fish and why anyone would want them on their pizza is a mystery that may never be solved. If you're feeling brave, try an anchovy sometime. They're really salty. How about pepperoni? All of the pizza eaters decided that that decision was best, including Charlie's dog, Watson. Look at Watson, Watson got some dance moves. Hey, hey, hey. Watson straight out of a TikTok video. Look at that. Warning. Whatever you do, don't give any pepperoni to Watson. Here's sad Watson. No pepperoni for Watson. Ding dong! 
Looks like Fido's Pizza is making a delivery. Dad paid the pizza boy, and Kate and Alice took the pizza into the kitchen. So here we go. Here's the pizza delivery boy. Dad paying him. Watson, Kate or Alice. Sweet vehicle, look at that car. Weird car, huh? Mom set the table while Dad poured a grape soda for Lewis. They must not have had any Sunny D, huh? Grape stuff, purple stuff. There you go, there's Lewis. Lewis has been working out, playing some tennis or something. Mom set the table. Watson, what are you doing? Also, what is this here? Oranges or are those peaches? Hmm, interesting. Also, what time is it? Seven o'clock, dinner time. The next thing everyone knew, Kate and Alice were screaming. Oh no, one slice is missing. <sighs> Charlie says, that means one of us won't get two slices. And here you can see, Charlie has already drawn a chart out. Here's all the pizza eaters. Here's all the available slices of pizza. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <gasps> that means somebody only gets one slice. Because one piece of pizza is missing. Charlie wondered what had happened to the missing piece. Here Charlie is. Got his microscope out. My microscope, I mean magnifying glass. Doesn't need a microscope quite yet because you can see a piece of pizza with your eyes. And there he is, checking out where could it be. Also look at this, got a pie chart up there. He looked for clues but couldn't find any. Whoa, oh, here it is. He's checking this out, this is what it is. It's the bugs having dinner, but no pizza there. They're having a party, look at that. I wonder whose party it is. Also, this looks like Centipede. Crossover, same universe. That's cool. I wonder what they're eating. It was time to talk to his suspects. Charlie had five. There's Charlie with his notes. He's like, yeah, see, yeah, where are you? What have you done? And here are the five other pizza eaters, the suspects. Alice, mom, dad, Kate, and Lewis, Charlie's best friend. Dad was one fifth of the suspects, one out of the five people. But Dad was in the kitchen with Mom. There's Charlie talking to him. Dad says, I was getting Lewis a grape soda. I was getting Lewis a grape soda. Mom didn't take the pizza slice either, so it could have been Lewis. Hmm. There were three suspects left. Lewis was one third of the remaining suspects. Here we go. He's already eliminated dad and mom, no longer suspects. There's three left, Lewis is one of them. Charlie saw a purple spot on Lewis's shirt. Hmm, it smelled like grapes, not pepperoni, and was still wet. Here's Lewis's shirt, magnifying glass, boom. That's when it pays to be messy. Figure A, spilled grape soda. So Lewis is telling the truth. But I was in, but I, but I was drinking a grape soda in the kitchen. Lewis seems to be seeking the truth. Alice and Kate were two out of two suspects left. Charlie was sure they were in it together. Little sisters were always guilty. To be sure, Charlie had them do the burp test. Burp. burp. Then he heard their stomachs growl. <laughs> Empty! Empty. No sign of pepperoni in the burps or in the stomachs. There were no suspects left. Charlie hadn't solved the mystery, but his dad had a solution. Here's the missing piece of the pizza. Here's Charlie. Yeah, see, I'm looking at the pizza with my magnifying glass in here. Lewis, Kate, Alice. So hungry, so excited. I'll only eat one slice. 
Dad said, everyone liked that idea, so they finally sat down to eat before the pizza got cold. Dad of the year! Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. Nice of you. Show a little bit of care and compassion. Mom shared half of one of her two slices of pizza with Dad. So then Mom and Dad each got one and a half slices. Right? Because Mom had two. Dad only had one. Mom gave half. They both had one and a half pieces. More like Mom of the Year, right? Seriously. Everyone was finishing their pizza when Watson walked in to the kitchen. Dun, dun, dun! And somehow, no time has passed. Everyone says, hey, what smells funny? Ew, did you burp? No, it wasn't me. Watson! <laughs> hmm, what's happening? Charlie knew that Watson had taken the missing slice of pizza. And Charlie was 100% certain that it would happen again. Look at this. Three quarters of a basketball. One half of a shoe. One quarter of a cereal box. One third of a slice of pizza. Seven eighths of peanut butter. Watson, what are you doing out there? Fun with fractions. I think that's the end of the story. It's sneaky. This was the end of the story. Here. What happened? Don't feed Watson any pepperoni because it disagrees with his stomach. And then he was making smelly things happen in the kitchen and everyone knew that Watson ate the pepperoni. And then, whew, putting this all together now, Watson also eats all kinds of stuff. Watson, get it together. Psh, psh, psh. Fun with fractions. Let's see what this is. Mm, here we go. One eighth of the pie is gone. One fourth of the pencils are yellow. One half of the bike tires are flat. Two thirds of the donuts have sprinkles. Watson ate one twelfth of the pizza! That's the end of Charlie Pie Chart and the case of the missing pizza slice. The mystery is, this mystery is one quarter pepperoni and three quarters fun. Also, look at this book. It's a pepperoni book. Hey, this has been a mini story time with Uncle Scotty. I have been your host, Uncle Scotty. We have our own mugs. We'll be back tomorrow with our next chapter book. I'm excited. To decide and share what that book is. Until then, wash your hands. Always think about time responsibly. And I'll see you soon. Bye.